Some gripping new video shows the moment a suspect got into a shootout with Baltimore County Police while aboard a bus. This newly released video from the Maryland Department of Transportation shows the suspect peeking outdoors while holding two guns. WJZ is live. Kimberly Eaton has a first look at this brand new evidence along with new police body camera footage. Kimberly? And Jessica recorded on three different cameras. Video shows everything from the first shots fired to the deadly takedown and the rush to help an injured officer. And we do want to warn you, some of it's graphic. June 7th, late afternoon. On a Baltimore County police officer's uniform, a body camera captures the first warning of an intense gun battle about to go down on Dundalk Avenue. Locked and loaded, bullets already flying. As bystanders ran for cover, one of them took this cell phone video. Feet away, police on the front lines, using all their firepower to take down this wanted man, Blaine Herb. Officers say he held up two people in a store parking lot before boarding a city bus to flee the crime scene. But when officers stopped the bus, there was no predicting what would come next. I've been shot in the leg. In an instant, bus passengers scrambled to get out of the line of fire. Surveillance video shows steps behind them, herb with a gun in each hand, sparking a seven minute shootout. When the gunfire ended, Irv was dead on the side of the road and a Baltimore County police officer bleeding in the street. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Both the officer and another woman hit in the crossfire are still recovering. Honestly, I was shocked. I have, in all my years, never seen an individual shooting out of two guns at the same time at police. Um, in different directions. Wednesday afternoon, Baltimore County State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger told WJZ the video shows the shooting of Herb was justified. Enough evidence to close this case. It was an incredibly dangerous situation that they handled very well. And Baltimore County Police tonight declining to go on camera but telling WJZ they support the state attorney's decision. Back to you. Kimberly, thank you. Herb had a lengthy criminal history, including convictions for robbery and assault.